Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another video that I've been threatening to do for quite a while and I never got to it and I wanted to do it yesterday but due to the Champions League playoff in Linz I never really had the time to do it. So let's look back at the last two weeks of league action in the big five and you know yes there will be a lot of information that you already know and so on but We'll run through the results. What am I wearing? I'm wearing the uh, Real Madrid Centenary away kit because I think that was probably the of the, all the teams that I have jerseys from here. That was probably the team that played the best. Maybe not 100% sure it was between Arsenal, who kind of so and so Liverpool and Real Madrid, honestly. And I decided I think Real Madrid is the one to go. So, yeah. Let's dive straight into it. The first one I want to do is the Premier League because that's the league that I think that yeah, league I started uh, more or less at the same time. But you know that's the league that got big league that got uh, going first. So let's get straight into it. Um, on match day one, we had that the season kicked off with Liverpool convincingly uh, beating uh, Norwich City 4-1. Yes, there were some defensive frailties, but overall, if Liverpool scores four. No team really uh, can hold them, and you know people were describing it as men versus boys, but then there were chances mainly through, and I think Puki scored the goal. But if Liverpool scores four one, then of course Manchester City needs to follow up and absolutely hammered West Ham five nil um, in the first real show of power. Uh, as, as we will uh, see, I think Manchester City demonstrated that they are the team to beat. Bournemouth, Sheffield, Sheffield United being back is a 1-1. Burnley, Southampton 3-0, kind of a disappointing result for Southampton. Palace, Everton 0-0. Watford, Brighton was actually a shocker to me that Brighton manages to win 3-0 at Watford. Tottenham gets their campaign going with a 3-1 over Aston Villa. Um, pretty tough draw for a promoted side. And then on Sunday it was Leicester uh, playing a 0-0 against Wolves. The Two sides that I would say are, are the maybe with Everton the most likely to break into this top top six, and I think uh, Leicester has kind of established himself on this, you know, not right now top six, but you know, on the top of the rest of the league. And Wolves also, despite being promoted, kind of were showing, but they, they have to back it up. Uh, because, you know, the second season is the tough one. Uh, Newcastle, Arsenal. Arsenal wins 1-0. Um, yeah, I mean, Newcastle is a little bit of a mess. Uh, Arsenal gets kind of a... I, I, I don't want to say necessarily lucky, but it was not a convincing win. Uh, the one thing that I have to fault Arsenal for is that they had no need to play in their away jerseys and they did. So this was kind of weird. And in the they, ca they caused even a short clash with the navy shorts uh, against the black shorts of Newcastle. There was no need for that. If Arsenal plays in their home jerseys, it's all fine. But I guess commercial reasons why them to play in the away jerseys. And then the biggest results of the uh, first week was Manchester United 4-0 uh, over Chelsea. And I really avoid here saying annihilating uh, Chelsea because the game was rather open and it was kind of this one of these freak results where Chelsea hit twice the post, but United scores the goals and then you quickly end up with a 4-0, uh, which maybe gives um, Solskjaer a little bit of breathing room, but overall it got to be said that, yeah, this result was maybe too high. Um, and then on match day two, there was actually another Premier League uh, meetup in the European Super Cup between um, Liverpool and Chelsea, which ended 1-1. But again, Chelsea kind of um, showed that they have some promise, but just cannot break through. And then uh, they win it on penalties, uh, Liverpool. So Chelsea has yet has had another uh, bounce or blowback in a way. Arsenal Burnley uh, 2-1 again not very convincing of Arsenal but they get a second win. Villa lose at home to Bournemouth 2-1, uh, Brighton West Ham 1-1, Everton over Watford 1-0. Watford having a really rough start. Norwich gets their first win and it's Timo Pukki who is the big hero 3-1 over Newcastle. 
And yeah, we gotta see uh, how it will go for Newcastle. They are a team that everyone is a little bit worried about. Southampton Liverpool 1 2 was a lot harder than um, expected for Liverpool. So, I mean, the 2 0 uh, lead for Liverpool was a little bit lucky overall. A little bit lucky was also the draw for Tottenham at Manchester City. I mean, Tottenham had one and a half chances at most. And Manchester City should have scored many, many, many goals. They did only end 2-2. It was kind of a freak occurrence. Uh, when it was 0-0, there should have been a penalty given. I said it in a video before. Uh, they score. They make the 1-0. They make the 2-1. The equalizer by Lamela was a freak. The uh, equalizer by Mura was also one, one of those that you cannot believe it's happening. So it ends 2-2 because VAR at the end uh, sees a handball. Correct. So, I think if you're upset with VAR, you should be upset with the handball rule, not, not with VAR itself. It ends 2-2 uh, because of uh, that and because, you know, City gotta take their chances. On the other side, if you ever had a doubt who's the best team in England, despite this 2-2 draw, Manchester City really, really shows that they are a dominant team. Sheffield United gets their first win, 1-0 over Palace. Chelsea throws away, ah, throws away. They were dominant, get a 1-0, and then Leicester gets a little bit back into the game and kind of controls it, gets an equalizer that probably was even deserved and kind of undermines that Leicester wants to get back there, uh, wants to get back in the top six and probably has a decent chance to do so. And a similar game was Wolves against United, where United has a 1-0 lead, uh, Wolves equalize, and Pogba could have put it away with a penalty. That I don't know why he's taking it. Everyone is hating on him. I don't necessarily want to do that, but you know, the coach should say Rashford is a penalty taker, let Rashford take it. So Pogba's effort is saved and it's only a 1 1, and otherwise United would have been uh, also near the top. So if you look at the table, it's Liverpool and Arsenal with six points. I mean, the table at this point in the season doesn't make much sense uh, to interpret much into it, but Liverpool, Arsenal. And the two Manchester team had a really good start to the season, 6 6 4 4. Brighton also, Tottenham, I would also put in there, uh, um, as with Bournemouth, Sheffield, and Everton. Uh, Burnley and Norwich have three points each. Leicester starts with two draws. Wolves, uh, Ditto. Palace, Chelsea, West Ham have only one point. And Villa, Newcastle, Southampton, and Watford with nil. And Watford is the team that I didn't expect. There. Yeah. Um, then let's go to France because there we also have two match days already. Lyon starting it off uh, with a 3 0 win over Monaco, then Reims with a shocker 2 0 over Marseille, uh, Angers Bordeaux 3 1, Brest, first game back uh, or first game in the league after being promoted 1 1 against Toulouse, Dijon Saint Etienne 1 2, Montpellier Rennes 0 1. Um, nice Amiens 2 1, and then Lille Nantes 2 1. Strasbourg, Metz, kind of a local derby, 1-1, and PSG, Nîmes, 3-0. And last weekend, I saw actually something, Lyon absolutely not highlighting Angers, 6-0. So Lyon is really off to a strong start. Nantes, Marseille, Marseille a little bit of bounce back, 0-0, Toulouse, Dijon, 1-0, Bordeaux, Montpellier, 1-1. Metz, Monaco, 3-0, Amiens, Lille, 1-0. Nîmes, Nice, 1-2, Saint-Étienne, Brest, 1-1, Reims, Strasbourg, so a little bit of that, 0-0. And then the shock result, 2-1, Rennes against PSG. Um, PSG took the lead, but Rennes turned it around with a goal right before the half and right after the half. And one of those was taken by Nyang really, really uh, prettily. And so already on the second day, PSG loses the first game. In the standings, Lyon towering above everyone else. I mean, 9-0 goal difference. They are a uh, strong, uh, <laughs> it seems. Nice, uh, Rennes have also six points, but you know, only with plus two, so they only win by a goal each. Metz, Reims, Saint-Étienne, Toulouse with four, and then PSG, only uh, three points. Amiens, three, Lille, three. Uh, so the two top teams of last season only start with three. Has to be said uh, that Lille loses to Amiens. It might be a shocker, but Lille also lost a lot of good players. Angers also three points. Brest has yet to lose. They have two draws. Uh, Strasbourg also two points. And then Montpellier, Nantes, Bordeaux, Marseille with one. And Dijon, Nîmes and Monaco 
uh, start with zero points. To Germany we go. Uh, match day one. I already started with a shocker and it's not the last time that we'll see. Bayern Munich only matches a 2-2 draw against Hertha. I talked about it in uh, my video on Monday. Um, they took the lead. Hertha then with goals in quick succession equalizes. Another video was on Saturday. Uh, equalizes and gets the lead and then a uh, very unnecessary stupid penalty. Hands, a, um, hands the 2-2 draw. Hertha would not have been deserved, but Hertha could have won that one. On Saturday, Leverkusen 3-2 uh, against Paderborn was a really tough game for them. Dortmund goes down very quickly, but then scores uh, 5 over Augsburg, and Augsburg seems to be one of those teams that are a little bit shaky. But, you know, er early on, one would say they are really in danger of being relegated, but we'll see how it will continue. Bremen Düsseldorf 1-3, kind of a, a surprising result to me. Freiburg Mainz 3-0. I like that. I like when Freiburg plays well. They, they are kind of this uh, sleeper team for me in Germany. Wolfsburg, Köln 2-1. Uh, yeah, Köln being back, but Wolfsburg just being better. Former last coach there, so uh, slight sympathy is going to Wolfsburg also. From a last, uh, there's a last connection there, but I honestly like Köln better. Gladbach, Schalke, 0-0 draw. Frankfurt, with a first-minute goal from Hinterecker, gets a 1-0 win over Hoffenheim. And then Leipzig also undermines their underlines, not undermines, underlines uh, their claim of being a top spot by beating Union Berlin 4-0. Although Union might be also one of those teams that <coughs> Bundesliga might be too big for them. So uh, first day, uh, Dortmund, Leipzig already on top, Freiburg also, of, uh, Düsseldorf. Uh, Leverkusen, Wolfsburg, Frankfurt get their wins. The only teams that drew were Bayern, Hertha, Gladbach and Schalke. And then Paderborn, Köln, Hoffenheim, Werder, Mainz, Augsburg, Union are towards the bottom of the table. Not much yet uh, there. And then Spain. And that was... Pro nah, I, I don't want to say the big shocker because Bilbao is a big team. But that uh, they beat Barcelona 1-0 has to be seen as a surprise. And kind of a disappointing start for Barcelona. But, you know, they have troubles at Bilbao typically. Because that's one of the big games for Bilbao. And you have the first game. And you really get going. Then there's Messi not playing. Then you have injuries. And, yeah, it goes the wrong way. As I said, Celta Vigo, Real Madrid. Real Madrid probably looked good. For the first time in a long time. And uh, surprise, surprise, Bale was a major component in that one. So, yeah. Uh, what can you say? 3 1 win. And as we will see, this also has the top of the table for the first time since they won the Wonder Championship in 2017. Uh, talk about Valencia Santander um, with a crazy stoppage time where Valencia misses the penalty and Real Sociedad gets a last. Uh, effort penalty kind of in the 101st minute. Mallorca gets back uh, against Eibar back in, in La Liga and win 2-1. Villarreal Granada, absolute madness, 4-4. I love to watch, I really loved watching this game. You can hear about it a little bit in my uh, video that I made on Monday. This is not a Monday video. Uh, Villarreal had a 1-0, 2-1 and 4-2 lead. Granada always could equalize. Leganes Osasuna, also the other promoted team. All promoted teams had a good start into the league. Uh, 1 0 at Leganes. Alaves, then on Sunday, beats Levante 1 0. Sevilla over Espanyol 2 0. So a little bit of that one. Um, was not convincing, but it was never in doubt that Sevilla is going to win that. Valladolid wins at the Real Betis uh, 2 1 uh, because Betis went down a uh, man very, very early on. And then Atletico Madrid over Getafe, uh, 1-0, uh, yeah. It was a win that they got. Uh, could have been more, because Morata missed also a penalty, but it also Getafe showed that they are a really tough team to beat. So if you look at the table now, Real Madrid in the lead, Sevilla uh, next, uh, Mallorca, Valladolid, Alaves, uh, Bilbao, Atletico and also Suna. All eight teams have won. Then we have, again, as in Germany, four teams with a draw, Granada, Villarreal, Real Sociedad, and Valencia. And then a bunch of teams that lost, Eibar, Betis, Barcelona, Getafe, Leganes, Levante, Vigo, and Espanyol. Let's quickly look all around of what we see 
next week uh, or the upcoming weekend if there are any interesting games in England. Oh, I'm just looking over it. Yeah, Liverpool Arsenal. That's probably one to watch. Um, I'm also interested what Bournemouth and Man City will do. I, I expect a massacre to be honest. Aston Villa Everton looks like a big name uh, game, but we have to see about that uh, in the Bundesliga match day two. Köln Dortmund on Friday. That that looks interesting. Gotta say Schalke Bayern. Um, yeah, Bayern will win this one, but uh, looks. Uh, like a big one and on Sunday Leipzig against Frankfurt. I like those two. Uh, those three games uh, in Spain. We have, uh, let's see where the big was, Celta Vigo Valencia, Real Madrid, Real Valladolid. Should also be easy. Barcelona Betis, that's probably the game of the weekend. Has to be said. I like the two, Mallorca, Real Sociedad, that could be an interesting one. Uh, in France, we have match day three. Uh, a bunch of PSG to lose will be interesting to see where they uh, bounce back. But yeah, that's not really Nice Marseille, but that's already on Wednesday. So it's kind of a fragmented Amiens, not. I don't know, Brest Reims. Yeah, nothing really outstanding. Strasbourg Rennes could be because those are the two cup winners and the two European fighters. And most importantly for me, Serie A is starting uh, this weekend. Uh, it starts off on Saturday with Parma versus Juventus and Fiorentina Napoli. Two interesting games right off the bat. And then on Sunday at 6 o'clock, Udine Milan also uh, an interesting one. Other than that, yeah. Uh, no real big matter. Sampdoria Lazio. I think that could be interesting. I think Spal Atalanta is also one that we should be watching. Well, that's that for my weekly roundup. I'm look I'm really looking forward to the start of Serie A. But you know, there are quite a few games that are interesting to watch. As I said, Premier League I won't be able to see. Hmm. Liverpool Arsenal is the biggest game of the week, I would say. Uh, especially since the top of the table clash. Uh, one versus two, but also some interesting games in Spain. Italy and Germany. For me, I will probably see the Dortmund uh, Köln, which yeah, sounds interesting. Well, let me know what you think about uh, this first few uh, matches in the leagues. Um, if there's anything you might want to add, drop a comment below. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that will prove interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.